Hey guys, it's Mario Sonic X. I got an MSBS Gold video for you today. This is my class setup. It, it does look quite unusual. Uh, usually, I don't use a secondary or a lethal, but this one actually worked pretty well for when I was playing Domination. This is how it looks. Gold. It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty good looking gun. It's not, not any of it's not gold really. It's all gold. Uh, here's a recoil test with the burst mode. Although I was using full auto, I decided to do the burst mode test anyways because I know a lot of your bur burst weapon fans out there. I just could not take it. Like I tried doing it a match on Warhawk with the hollow and grip, and I just it didn't work for me. So I found that full auto was pretty much the most useful one. Uh, it was full auto grip and red dot, obviously. Um, and I had the P226 secondary with the tactical knife and the extended mags. I chose that just because I had an extra attachment, so I might as well just stick tactical knife on there. And I also chose the frag grenade. Because surprisingly enough, the frag grenade is actually pretty good domination. Uh, it didn't get any frag grenade kills in this one, I don't think. But I got quite a bit when I was doing uh, earlier gameplay with the first one. Uh, actually, no, after the first one, I'm sorry. Uh, I used this class setup on Warhawk, and unfortunately it didn't work for, but I got at least four grenade kills in that match. It was pretty, it was pretty, uh, pretty nice. I'm also using the support package here. Uh, support, I. I found it a little more useful because for one, you're not scampering for kill streaks. Two, uh, the gun isn't the, exactly the best, if, especially if you're not going to silence it. The gun's not the best for streaks. So I chose support, and these are the support streaks I chose with the ballistic vest, the support squad mate, and the oracle. Those are pretty much the most effective ones. I don't find the Odin or the Juggernaut to be really effective because you don't get a lot of kills with the Juggernaut, and you don't get any kills at all with the Odin unless you're pulling down the Juggernaut, so. I just found this to be a little more effective. Awesome, but squad mate does really does help out a lot for the best. Um, also, I'm not using stalker on this one, which is kind of weird. You see me use a stalker on a, like a lot of my assault rifles, and some of my even some of my SMGs. I used to use them on the vector, but stalker I didn't find exactly necessary for this one, just because if I was playing like as I'm playing here, it does remind me kind of like. Black Ops, you didn't need Stalker, the first Black Ops. You didn't need Stalker, you didn't even need Slide of Hand Pro, which you give uh, You didn't need that to do exactly. You didn't do that. Blech. You don't need that to do well. So I found this to be pretty effective. It was just uh, extra attachment, it was focused, fully loaded, and reflex. Reflex helps me throw the grenade faster and switch out to my pistol faster. Just a situation. Losing C. Throwing the grenade faster was really effective because I wanted to get out of a situation fast. Uh, I just throw, throw the grenade. Fully loaded, I use that on a lot of my assault rifles, especially this one because this one has uh, full auto, so it'll burn through ammo. So, unless you uh, go on really long streaks, fully loaded's pretty good. Unless you want to use scavenger because scavenger is a little more effective, it gives you pretty much unloaded ammo as long as you're mobile. Um, I also use focus because focus I use on a lot of my. Um, Assault rifles, extra attachment is obvious. Uh, it's, you know, you kind of need it. And finally, reflex. I already explained that. So that was my gold gun video for you guys. I hope you do enjoy. I do put a lot of work in this, so I hope you guys kind of get it out there to your friends. Give me a little more widespread exposure. Alright, Sonic X, out.